as I grew into a young adult, I ended up um, going to work for an amusement park. And while we were in orientation, they were telling us all about our uniform, what we had to wear. And then they started telling us what we couldn't come to work wearing. So back then, you couldn't have a lot of tattoos. You couldn't have a lot of piercings. You couldn't have crazy colors in your hair. And then they started talking about we couldn't wear afros. They started talking about we couldn't wear braids. We couldn't wear locks. And that puzzled me so much because I'm like, okay, these are hairstyles that Black people wear on a normal basis. Like, why can't we come to work with these kinds of hairstyles? And at the time, I was in the process of transitioning from being a woman who straightened her hair to being a woman who had natural hair. So I've been natural ever since 98. Um, and I was at the time when I was working for this amusement park, I was wearing my hair like in a little afro. And so I'm like, okay, so are they telling me that I can't come to work looking like this? And needless to say, I didn't stay there for longer than four weeks or so. And then I was back at home. But just trying to better understand myself as a Black woman, trying to understand why society has such a disdain with Black beauty, why we as Black people have such a disdain with Black beauty. I wanted to understand all of that. And so that's what got me started on the journey 